Kathy Fremantle is very, very excited. She's about to get Harry James Angus to play in her backyard. I've wanted to have these guys for a long time. I love Cat Empire, Harry James Angus, all of those guys. Their sound is what I love. Hello everyone, how are you? Kathy's never met Harry or the band before, but she's arranged the night through an online service called Parlour Gigs. It matches musicians with fans who are happy to offer up their house as a venue. In the last few weeks I've done about 10 shows in different houses, ranging from like real fancy penthouse apartments to like a dodgy share house. You might know Harry from the Cat Empire. He is an internationally famous artist who's played some major gigs, including to around a billion viewers at the 2006 Commonwealth Games. But there's something special for him about these house gigs. It's fun, like it's a totally different dynamic. Firstly, because you're in someone's living room, you're not on stage, so it's a bit more raw. It's a bit more in your face. You can kind of follow the mood of where people are at. And these are the guys who've made it possible. We really started it on a hunch, you know. Would somebody buy a ticket to their friend's house to see an artist play? We had to trust that that was something that was going to happen. Having both played music, we wanted to build a platform for musicians. We wanted to know how much we were going to get paid, who are we playing for. We want people to listen to the music. We don't want to play in pubs where people are getting pissed and talking and doing other things. You get to engage with the artist. You get to hang out with them, have a drink with them after the show. I think that's a huge part of why people want to do this. And for the musicians, it can provide a steady income outside of normal tours. Revenue from recorded music's really dried up. Artists aren't making a huge amount out of streaming, so live touring is very, very important. But changes like the lockout laws introduced in Sydney in 2014 have meant that live music revenue there has dropped by 40%. A house gig, if you're just playing on your own and you can cut out the middleman and you can be driving yourself, then you can keep the cost down and you can actually make some okay money. It's quite common for artists to walk away with about 30% of ticket sales. With Parlour, they walk away with 80%. The host putting up their house as the venue is responsible for selling the tickets to their friends. Because each show has been crowdfunded, each host has to reach a certain target in order for the show to go ahead. So before an artist leaves the house to play a show, they know exactly what they're going to make. The vast majority of the musicians using the service are acoustic acts. Better not go inside. But as it grows, it's attracting some bigger and louder bands like Boy and Bear. And that's causing some growing pains. The two big ones are residential noise restrictions and insurance. So we provide all hosts with public liability insurance up to $20 million. That's built into our booking fee, so they've got that peace of mind. Dealing with the neighbours is potentially a bit more tricky. Certainly Cathy Fremantle was a bit nervous before her gig. I was a little bit, but we were a bit lucky here, we were a bit spread out, so they hoped really well. And because it's not a really late show, they were very, very understanding. There's no greater trophy than have your favourite band playing in your lounge room with all your best friends, particularly if it's a band that you've discovered and your friends haven't yet. And each of these house gigs seems to have at least one special moment. We finished with a really slow ballad and this lady came up to me afterwards and she said, that's the first time I've ever danced with my grandson. And that's the kind of thing that I don't imagine would happen in a lot of concerts.